All right, here's my update. I got the new fan and heat sink installed. I don't know if you noticed this, but as soon as I start screen recorder, temperatures go up fast. And I think that's because the i5 heat sink fan combo is not the right answer to solve the NV17 with the i7 processor overheating. Um, this is what I was able to get to. Um, that's with the default fan and heat sink that come with the i7 version. I'll tell you what I did to get that. <clears throat> but as you can see, this is the i5 uh, and it's just not very good. Um, <clears throat> I, first when I put it on, it was even worse. I would hit these max temperatures here real quick. And um, so I'll show you what happened. Basically, I, I was getting really hot temperatures, not doing much, kind of like when I first bought the laptop. <clears throat> so I pulled this thing back off and I noticed that I wasn't getting any contact over here. So I, uh, you can see it was just contacting right there. So what I did is I, I cut a plate off of this heat sink and I trimmed a couple pieces to fit on top of these chips and I put some thermal paste on both sides and did it again and this is what I'm hitting now <clears throat> the thing is as soon as you start doing anything the temps go up fast um, so just running this uh, free screen recorder all I hit did was hit record and bam I went up from 60 I took a screenshot here went up from 66 to you know, 90s um <clears throat> so i mean that's 40 40 degrees fahrenheit increase just recording my screen and capturing audio so that's not very good but uh yeah as you can see i in this photo here six i mean i was doing stuff this was running um uh what is it called the uh prime 95 <clears throat> so if I hit Prime 95 now, I mean, it just climbs real fast. And uh, I believe the reason for that is because the fan on this new assembly is much smaller. This is the, the stock fan. This is the fan I bought from the um, i5 version of the NV17. So it's a, it's a bigger fan in diameter. It's got a lot more blades. <clears throat> also, this thing will sound like a hair dryer when it gets um, this hot. Uh, this, thing, this thing sounds like this one does when it's about half speed. So this thing just never sounds loud. So this is a much better fan, and I think that's why it has better uh, cooling capacity. <clears throat> despite the extra um, heat pipe on this one and the extra heat sink got the back I even uh, drilled holes in the case because the when you open the screen it covers these holes so I tried drilling these holes but still no bueno so don't buy the the i5 heat sink and fan it's it's um, it's not worth it um, just not doing much. You can see when I when I quit using the CPUs or quit pushing the CPUs, um, temperatures drop pretty quick. Um, let's see. So yeah, I mean I'm into turbo range. As soon as you hit 100 Celsius, the turbo goes way down. And uh, I'll show you that again. Prime 95 started up. And Q, no more turbo. Oh, energy saver. Yeah, it doesn't like that at all. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, that's. Oh, and here's the. Um, this is the. Uh, I don't. I, I, I'm guessing they think that's a heatsink, but this is why the um, 
where your wrist sets when you're typing um, on the left side of the um, trackpad. That should be a heat sink. It's not. It's a little thin piece of aluminum. That's some thermal, uh, I don't, it's not paste. It's like a thermal tape. It's really thick, like a thermal pad. Uh, and it broke into pieces when I tried peeling it off. So I put in a, a thick layer of Arctic silver. It still gets hot there. I'm going to try to find a, a heat sink that uh, fits this to see if that helps with that problem. Um, but anyway, uh, default heat sink, just use that one. Just take it off. Clean off the thermal paste that it comes with. Put on some Arctic silver. Um, that's how I got these temperatures. I didn't even cut off the copper plates for that. Um, you know, like this. I I just I actually bent uh, bent the tabs on the GPU up to press that down onto the chip tighter. You can't bend these things, but it seemed to be tight on it. Actually, my GPU got up to 90 Celsius still, so I'm going <clears> to, <throat> when I take this out and put this back in, I'm going to keep the copper plates in between the GPU and the CPU to see if I get even better results than this. If it's worse, then I'll take the copper plates out, and I'll just figure that that's the best I'm going to get. Um, but anyway, it's, it's usable now. It was usable even better before I put the new fan heatsink in and uh, you know I, I can still you know I can play some music See, my GPU got really hot really quick there. <clears throat> um, before I put this new heatsink fan in there, it never hit, or it, it reached 90C, and that was the max it got to. So, definitely not the answer putting this i5 heatsink processor in. Um, so, that's it. I'll make another video once I find any other result, but for now, I'll just. Uh, to get your temps down, just take out your heat sink and fan, put on some Arctic silver, um, possibly put some copper plates in there, possibly not. Don't know about that question yet. Um, but there you have it. All right. Cheers. <laughs>